Brought to you by Lynchburg Lemonade and Unemployed Matt. <laughs> well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Adventures of Unemployed Man. <laughs> Today, I'm joined by my trusty friend and partner in crime, Launchpad. Hello, A. Eh? Actually, for once, has a job while I don't. That's amazing. It's an odd turn of events. Odd turn. Odd. But good one. Chemical problems. Aside from me not being employed. Like I was meaning to say to Matt Bear here, uh, being unemployed does have its superpowers, as I'm sure you've already noticed from the, what, the, the previous two episodes? Four. <laughs> okay, the previous four episodes, which we can find down below this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not all bad. Just being broke kind of sucks. Anyway, it's been like over a week since I've done a video. Been pretty lazy um, and pretty busy, actually, for an unemployed guy. Fourth of July, run around, do this, that, barbecue, set off fireworks, you know, that sort of thing. Mm, fireworks. Um, yeah. I got a box in the truck, in the car. Still? Still. You didn't set them off? No, we did. I got some new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Launch pads, stockpiling illegal fireworks. All right. Exactly. Anyway, um, I don't know. Stuff's been going on, man. It has been crazy. I try to avoid reading the news too much because it just depresses me, you know? It just makes me sad. This is the state of politics in this country. Hmm. <sighs> Such a shame. Hey, if you're interested, seriously, read about the Sons of Liberty. Who the hell is Sons of Liberty? Oh, Lord, dude. Well, explain. Okay, let's go back to uh, um, Boston Tea Party, folks. Yes. So read stuff up about the uh, Sons of Liberty, where the actual folks who started to do stuff such as the Boston Tea Party, Sam Adams and uh, uh, Thomas Paine and uh, some of those guys back then. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have the whole list for you. If I uh, had my laptop, we could look at it, but... One of the key tokens out of this one is the Sons of Liberty, I believe it's called. All right. Well, Sons of Liberty from Launchpad. No idea what he's talking about, but that's pretty standard for Maybe. talking to Launchpad. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about either. <laughs> uh, so, yep. while we're at it, let's let's start that discussion. What do you think about the whole uh, Viacom versus YouTube work? Some of you may see this video today. Indeed, indeed. Viacom asking for YouTube user information such as IP addresses, that sort of thing. They're actually looking at who is viewing, not uploading, but viewing copyrighted material. And how many times you viewed that, and when you viewed that. How does that make you feel, folks? How does that make you feel? That chaps my ass, really. Don't like invasions of privacy. <clears throat> you can read more about the, uh, the whole Viacom thing and Launchpad's rant on it on his blog, which is linked on the sidebar of my blog, by the way. Ramblings of a Zen DJ. Is I try. I try. Yeah. You want to understand any of it, really. There's stuff in there about the World Bank. I don't know what they have to do with it. I, I did send you a yeah. response on that, by the way. I, I saw, but it still doesn't make any sense. Well, but that's the way it is, you know. It's just Launchpad. It works. It works. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty good drink, by the way. Good. What drink yeah. do we have going today again? I believe it was Lynchburg Lemonade. Lynchburg Lemonades. Yes. Yeah. He and has it in the Lynchburg Lemonade glass. Either. And if you don't know how to make it, it's right there Got on the, the back. Got the recipe on the back. These are made according to Hoyle. These uh, cheated, use lemonade instead of spray and sweet and sour, but... Same difference, according to Hoyle. Nice, nice little plug there. I like that phrase, according to Hoyle. I like playing cards, so I use card references whenever I can, even when I'm not playing cards. Speaking about that, in that poker match that we were that we were kind of all participating in the other day on Ultimate Bet, um, I had the uh, nice dead plug. <laughs> 
I'm so branded. <laughs> Anyways, I had the Dead Man's Hand. The Dead Man's Hand. Aces and eights. Two pair, aces and eights. Mm -hmm. Do you know why it's called the Dead Man's Hand, Lost Man? I believe some famous individual had that when he was shot in the back of the head. That's right. Wild Bill Hickok shot in the back at the poker table, holding two pair aces and eights when he was killed. Such it's a shame. called the Dead Man's Hand. I actually keep two pair aces and eights in the band of my cowboy hat, just for fun. I don't know. Because then, like, if I'm meeting somebody I don't know and they say, what do you look like? I say, I'll be wearing a cowboy hat with playing cards in the hat band. And they go, okay. And they can't miss me. Well, it's fairly tough to miss you anyways, but... True, true. Uh, and we're also hosting a poker game this Saturday, actually. Usually my friend hosts at his place on Friday night, but he's got tickets to see Eddie Izzard perform uh, Friday night, that bastard. Let's go see Eddie <laughs> Izzard. I'm too broke because I'm unemployed, unemployed man. man. <clears throat> um, so instead... Then I decided we would host uh, a game Saturday night. So if I missed you on the invite and you want to show up, uh, let me know. That's cool. More people, the better. Poker's fun. Gambling is fun. That's a real message for the kids from this video. <laughs> Gambling is fun and drinking is fun. Not having a job is fun. Well, but being broke sucks. So. If you can pull it off where you can not have a job and still have money, you've really got it down. I'm trying to figure out how to do that myself. Well, if this takes off, maybe he could make some money at it. At making videos about being an unemployed drunk guy sitting in my lawn? We're not drunk yet. We just started. Shh. Oh, oh. I'm, that's the real fuck, really. <laughs> got to keep up the image, man. Oh, well, I'm... <laughs> I was telling a fib to the camera. Mm. Didn't want to tell him how many runs we've actually had to go at this already. Mm. It is mid-afternoon. That's a warm, nice day, beautiful. Nice day to not have to work. I will have to uh, concur on that. It is a very warm day. Uh, for those of you not in this region, it's probably about uh, high 70s, low 80s today. Nice, sunny. Perfect not day. A, not a cloud in the sky that I've seen, and uh, hot, hot. But perfect, not too hot, not too hot, just hot enough. Hot enough. Perfect day. And you are sitting in your office right now, mm. in your cubicle, typing away, or wherever you happen to work. And we're sitting here drinking on the lawn on a perfect, cloudless, beautiful day. In the middle of the week. Huh. Yep. So, on that note, goodbye. Hope you're having a good day. See you later. Have fun, folks. <laughs>